Should we move on to the kid-friendly Apple Watch SE? Now, this seems like a zany product, but I actually think there is a real market for kids' smartwatches. Kids like watches. My kids like watches. And you can have Find My turned on on it, so you can always find your kid. I mean, there are some things they could work into this that would actually be pretty useful. Yeah, and I, so that's the rumor. Apple Watch SE3 reportedly would come in a plastic casing. Um, the good thing about that, I mean, aside from possibly making it uh, cheaper, is it, it might be uh, it might be able to make it a lot more colorful. And maybe they might even actually make it some fun colors like they did with the, uh, you know, 5C when they went with that thing. Oh, man, that's a throwback um, right there. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Uh, what is this story talking about? The current color options, as you might may or may not know, Apple Watch SE comes in midnight, which is black, starlight, which is goldish, and silver. You know, typical, typical color palette for Apple. Uh, but this latest rumor from you won't believe it, uh, Bloomberg's Mark Gurman says next generation version will have a plastic casing that quote could allow for a better array of colors. He didn't offer any predictions about what those colors might be, but I mean. If you look at like, uh, well, I mean, who knows? Remember how? Remember Swatch? Remember those watches? Yeah, they're still how around, aren't they? Fun and color- well, I mean, are they big now? I don't know. Well, but I mean, probably. You know, they're probably there's room super for expensive fun, now. colorful watches, right? Um, let's see. German said expanding the number of color options could make the Apple Watch SE more kid friendly, and uh, as our story points out, uh, it's an outstanding accessory for a kid. Uh, their school, like if your school bans an iPhone, the kid. Uh, or, or they lose their iPhone. The Apple Watch, you can always be in touch with your kid, especially if they got a cellular connection. Uh, like you're saying, built-in GPS and Find My, so uh, you know you can kind of keep tabs on a little rug rat. Uh, I don't think there's any pricing information about this. Current one costs two forty nine. Would they make it a little cheaper by going oh, plastic? Oh, they would have yeah. to make it cheaper, man. They'd have to cut features. Would they, would they have to make it cheaper? I think so. Well, how many people are buying their kid a two hundred fifty dollars smartwatch? I don't think so. Yeah, what's two hundred fifty now compared to what two hundred fifty was two years ago? Still a lot for a kid. <laughs> I mean, in yeah. my opinion, they'd have to make it like one fifty or less. It would have to be pretty cheap and yeah, shatterproof, or at least very, very, very rugged. But then you could design a band called I'm I'm coining the term safe lock. It's a band that you could put on your kid's wrist that can't be taken off. Wow. So that you know where your kid is at all time. There's the only other option is securing an AirPod <laughs> to them somewhere or a um um AirTag. AirTag, Air thank tag. you. It's hard to make them swallow them. They're very large. You know, there's other options, but most of them are not gonna be <laughs> something that will stay in their bodies. So you gotta have a way to secure something that will enable find my wouldn't it have to be a breakaway, though? I mean, what if they get too close to the thresher? <laughs> well, if your kids live on a farm, maybe we have to think through that user scenario. Breakaway. Breakaway like the, the cat collars. They should be wearing the Nike sport band if they're getting serious work done. <laughs> you know, that's the one thing that was kind of weird about this. Like, Apple Watch. I mean, what's Apple Watch's main thing? I mean, it, yeah, using it as like a glorified air tag is one thing. But uh, health stuff? I mean... Maybe it would. Maybe, maybe it would help. Uh, you know, the childhood obesity epidemic. Hey, how many steps did you get today, uh, Junior? Might be good. Who knows? Well, check this out. We got Ninja Bricks in the chat. Says kids can't even use a lot of the features. I am a teen. We got a teen here. Can you believe this? We're cool with the teens, Lewis. I don't know if you knew that. I can't believe it. He says I'm a teen, and it won't let me use some health features like ECG. I guess it will stunt my growth or something. <laughs> I heard if you turn really? on ECG, you just knock the foot off your height. That's it. Even Shh. one exposure to ECG. So that is interesting. I never heard this. Okay. That's been what, what happened to me. What would the rationale, <laughs> would the rationale be for that? I don't know. But you know, if you're a minor, then there are things that maybe they just aren't allowed to let you use without your parents' permission or something. You can't check your heart rate. Yeah. Or, well, not heart rate, but... Okay. Huh. But... Still, a cool product. I think this is a great idea. Like my daughters have started getting into watches, and um, you know, there's their, their watches that they have are just your regular run of the mill watches, and they can't do anything on them except tell time. And I think it'd be really cool to have something that you could send them messages, know their location. They could. They could, they could use the walkie-talkie app. Remember that? That would be 
that would be super cool. Finally, someone I want a digital digital touch with, right? <laughs> you Get know, if reading. they if they could drop the price just a smidgen, although really is is plastic that much more cheaper than aluminum? I don't I think mean, it's just the plastic that's really. going to be it. Like they're going to have to knock out a bunch of features to make this well, thing cheap. Like I, what? I honestly don't think I don't know. Maybe using an older version of of um, the watch and just putting it in a in a plastic case, something because I two hundred dollars. Too much, two fifty. Too much, one fifty. I think is what? maybe in the threshold. But a lot of people oh, are not going to want to spend that much on a kid's watch. I don't know, man. If they push it, like, hey, yeah, you know, keep t- tabs on your kid and uh, find out how much exercise they're getting, motivate them to uh, be more healthy. Uh, I can't. You know. They're under it. I think. I think one seventy nine is maybe the lowest we could realistically expect Apple to go. I, I and you know the thing is if they drop it to like let's say two twenty nine then it goes on sale for one seventy nine and yeah you know I mean that, that's part of what happens with all these prices right I mean yeah. you always find these deals I mean Apple and doesn't even after offer Apple them discontinues it like they're they're going to keep selling it at Walmart or Best Buy for even cheaper prices like you can probably still buy an original Apple Watch SE from four years ago for like you know if you want a one twenty nine Apple Watch or something like that I'm making those numbers up but to be <laughs> something like that happens often. Yeah, the Swatch is still alive, by the way. If you aren't familiar I didn't mean with Swatch, to, it, didn't mean to you know indicate they're not around, but I don't think you were accusing them of not being around. I was just okay. curious. And uh, Swatch, a very cool, trendy watch brand, like in the '80s and '90s, for you know very vibrant, loud. I think cool designs for watches, and I just went to their website, dude. They still got it, man. They got tons <laughs> of cool designs on here. I would wear literally any watch in this row, maybe not that last one. But or that one, but they got a bunch of really cool swatch designs. The only thing is, is like, do you want to spend one hundred thirty dollars? Like a swatch back in the day was like what twenty bucks, and of course now they're far more trendy. Oh, they got eighties and nineties swatches. Look at this. Okay, those are the ones we were just looking at, dude. Those look cool. I can't see nothing. What uh, yeah, Jimmy, sorry. I guess I, I guess you can't. I like see that. I, on their homepage, they have like some transparent ones, translucent ones. I'm all about transparent. Pretty wild. And, and you know, I mean, we, we're always ragging on Apple for not having colors. So, like, if they do this, let's hope that they actually come up with some real eye-popping colors, not yeah. just, like, you know, teal. They should do a Swatch collab. They would never do that because I don't think Apple does collabs. Light brown. <laughs> the Zune edition. 